Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today I'm going to show you how to completely install your uh, get a test uh, program for MetaTrader 4 or 5 working on your Mac. This all came from this video here called How to Download MT5 Relian 4 onto your Apple Mac. So this is just in more detail courtesy of somebody requesting for it. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to let you know this is for the service here on my store at quantlabs.net. Quant Analytics membership, click here, takes you to this service here. So you'll be able to get live trading signals with Forex, uh, being able to connect into your MetaTrader environment. And I'll be putting up some open source code for that in the next week or so. And once we get that, no different than Python, to get yourself working. Uh, live trading signals from my server um, to help you out automate your trades in Forex and soon maybe even crypto on the Kraken. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so over here at XM.com, a couple of notes here. You cannot, like if you are a US or a Canadian, you will not be able to get access to this live broker. It is one of the larger brokers out there. In here you will notice that we do have MetaTrader 4 or 5 for both PC and Mac, as well as these other mobile editions. So what you typically do, uh, most brokers will use MT4. So I'm using XM just for development and testing on my, on my uh, uh, Mac, and that will connect you into the XM uh, data set. But again, it's only for testing if you are outside of uh, or within US or Canada. So all you really gotta do is click on uh, this link here, or sorry, no, let me do that again. So let's back up here. So again, you could build your own virtual, uh, virtual PC environment. So again, come under platforms, MT4 for Mac, okay? So I'm using Firefox here, so Beyond this, I can't help you. If you got any other questions, you might want to go to XM for the support. Just care uh, for download. And what it will do is going to ask you for this DMG file. So all you got to do is save it uh, to wherever it's going to go. Here in Firefox, it will show you the download progress. So we will uh, let that download. And the next step is, depending upon your version of Mac OS X, this is the version I have is, uh, boy, is this Mac slow. It's an old Mac. It is pretty well the latest version of whatever Mac OS it is. So again, here you have the Macs, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're downloading this file. Um, 230 meg. Okay, open file. And all you gotta do is extract it or unarchive it. This compress so that it will open up a dialog here. And what you, all you need to do. Wow, my system is very slow. Apologies, it's a four-year-old, five-year-old system. And uh, what it will do is it should be able to uh, verify uh, the file, the DMG file. And it's pretty self-evident uh, if you should know how to use a Mac, know how to work with this stuff. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let me see if I can load up the older version of XM. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, it's almost done. Here's the old DMG. This tab right here. We'll just... So once that's verified, you'll be able to uh, extract it and run it. And all you really got to do is 
all you gotta really do is let it fit. So right here, you should be able to drag it into the application uh, folder, and then that should run. I've already done that, so what you need to do is get your launch pad going, search for your XM, there's MetaTrader 2, and boom. Now the next step is pretty evident. Um, you need to sign up to get a, a demo account with XM. Now again, I'm using this for demonstration purposes, so you need to open a demo account. Uh, now, a few things on the technical front. This is a Wine project, so it's using the Linux project Wine that enables you to uh, load up a, uh, so you can see here it's Wine, and then what it will do is it will um, load up MetaTrader itself, so you have to choose your data feed and as well as your account info, but I, I don't perceive from there. But that is pretty well to get to get it running, okay? So let me just break this. And that's all you need to do. All right. Hopefully, I'll help you out. Have a good day.